Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh, and today we have a tricky math problem. It's one that requires a lot of steps. It's not this magical shortcut, but I'm gonna teach you a technique that can make a problem that you wouldn't be able to solve necessarily a lot easier for you to solve. So let's take a look at the question. A parking lot contains 80 vehicles. Each vehicle is either a car or a truck, and either vehicle is either red or green. 35 vehicles are red, and 60 vehicles are cars. If there are nine green trucks, how many red cars are there? Now, who just wants to give up right now and just skip on to the next problem? I sure as heck do. But there's actually a much easier way to do this, and it is just to come up with a table. Because once you put all of this information on, in a table, it's a lot easier to figure out what you're looking for and how to get the correct answer. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, you might be tempted to draw a Venn diagram, but here we actually have two different kinds of categories. We have colors and we have type of vehicle. And so we're gonna make a two by two square because it's a lot easier to manage this information in this format versus a Venn diagram. So let's take a look here at this square. We have on one axis the cars and the trucks, the type of vehicle. On the top we have the colors, red and green. Now we have some information starting with 80 vehicles. 80 we're gonna place to the outside because it doesn't really actually go inside the square. But we'll put a little circle around it. And now we're gonna fill in the information that we can fill in. It says here that 35 vehicles are red. So outside of the square, but below the column that says red, I'm gonna put 35. And then it says 60 vehicles are cars. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take that number 60 and put it to the right outside of the car row. And then it tells me I have nine green trucks. I'm gonna put that actually in the square where they're across from trucks and underneath green, the number nine. So now things are gonna start falling into place. First off, I'm gonna look at green cars. Well, we know there's 45 total cars. So if there are nine green trucks or total vehicles, there are 45 total vehicles. And so if there are nine green trucks, that means there have to be 36 green cars. Now, if there are 36 green cars, the question is how many red cars are there? Take a look at that column. It's blank right now, but it says car and red, that cell. So when we look at that cell, how do we get the answer? Well, look across from 36 in the other direction and you see the number 60, the total number of cars. So we know that number in that cell has to be something that whatever that number is, plus 36 equals 60. You can use some quick mental math or calculator and you will get the number 24. And just like that, you have the correct answer. And the reason that I say just like that is, I challenge you, though you don't necessarily have to do this, to try to do this in your head without creating any graph or table. And let, trust me, it is pretty overwhelming versus the method I just showed you. So if you see this, on this kind of question test day, it'll definitely be a lot easier. So hopefully that was a helpful way of finding the answer to a difficult problem. And if you want more helpful tips like this, Click on the description below and you can see our GRE math tips. And of course, if you want more videos like this one, then check out the ones on the left and I will see you next time.